And so that gives you a symmetry where I can take the music and I can transpose, is what this is called, up key. So I can play it in the key of C, or I can play it in the key of C sharp, or I can play with the C sharp. I could start my music, that particular little ditty started here. I could also start it here and just do the same step sizes. Or I could start here, 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 here. I could start anywhere on the keyboard, just as long as I kept the number of half tones. I have a question. So this yeah. is the piano keyboard. Are E and F closer together than D and E are, or is that just an artifice so, in terms of pitch? In pitch, E and F are closer together than D and E because going from here to here is 2 to the 12. Okay. Going here to here is 2 to the 12 squared, so this is 2 to the 1 6. Okay. Going from here to here is 2 to the 1 12. Each time two keys are next to each other, that's a difference of 2 to the 1 12 multiplied in geometric progression in the frequency. And you can compute all the frequencies. This is 440 hertz in standard tuning. And now you can compute the rest of the frequencies just by multiplying by the appropriate powers of 2 to the 1 12. So this is 2 to the 1 12 times 440 hertz. Um, in fact, there's another symmetry that you could do. This thing looks like the regular 12 bar. If you have a regular 12 gon in the plane, and you look at the symmetries of this thing, one symmetry you can have is a rotational symmetry where you can pick it up and rotate it. Do you see another symmetry that you could do? Reflection. You could do a reflection. We could also take this thing, and we could reflect it, say, across here. If I'm calling this my D, uh, the center for the London Bridge theme, um, we can not only do this symmetry geometrically, where I can draw a picture of it, I can also do it musically, where I look at the pitch. And so here's the... And now I can do the other piece. And so we can start putting together themes by combining symmetries together. This is something that Bach did in many fugues. It's a fun little game that you can start doing and putting things where you play a little piece and you transpose it up, transpose it down. Then you can invert it. You can start playing them together. Um, so that's one class of symmetries. One thing you might look at is how many different symmetries are there. This thing forms something called a group. Yeah, we won't maybe go there. But in fact, there's another nice thing you can do with this. And that is you can start writing down the music. So in fact, this is exactly the first two bars of London Bridge that I played here. Here are the first two bars again. I'm getting some geometric pattern here. Here I'm doing something where I'm just looping that one sample, if I was a DJ, right? I just take that one sample, and then I make it repeat over and over and over again. This symbol at the end of the bar means repeat everything from here. So it's just going to do this over and over and over again. In fact, if I look at the music that you're generating, this music is some picture that happens in the plane. It has a nice geometric symmetry. The symmetry here says I start out here, and then I go blump, and I translate it one unit forward, and I see the same thing. And then I translate it one unit forward, and I see the same thing again. There's a class of geometric um, patterns that you see. You often see them in moldings in fancy Victorian buildings, or in big long tile walkways in Islamic art. They're called freeze patterns. A freeze pattern is something where the pattern has a translational, it's a pattern in the plane, and it's symmetric. It has a translational symmetry. In fact, it can have many translational symmetries, but all of the translational symmetries are required to be generated by one fundamental 
translation. And so any other, so there should be one particular translation where you get the rest just by repeating it over and over again, forward and back. So you just see the pattern, the pattern, the pattern, the pattern, and it just repeats. You can add additional kinds of symmetry to the picture when you're going to see this, if that's going to be your restriction. So what other symmetries might you have geometrically? If you're going to have some pattern and some strip, uh, if it's going to repeat, could you build some other symmetry into it so that it would repeat and have more symmetry? See if we can build one. And in fact, when you're looking at this in the music, this direction is time. So we have time here in pitch here. Our recording back is in our playing. Somehow it doesn't make sense to mix those. Having translations in the pitch direction, it's just starts getting higher and higher and higher. So maybe the dogs can hear it. And then maybe it's nice to switch the translation a little bit and look in the time direction when we're looking as our translational symmetries. But geometrically, you know, let's just draw a picture. Let's just draw a freeze pattern. I should write that down. I.E. So let's just draw a little man here. So as soon as I've got a figure, I can duplicate it and duplicate it. But could I do some motion first and then duplicate it and then have it be a translational symmetry? So what might I do to him to do some other symmetry if I'm trying to build a geometric shape by symmetries? I could flip them horizontally or vertically. Horizontal. So I can flip across an axis like this, coming up to, here's the man holding the beer here, down like that. And then we could continue this pattern across. Keeps going. I just rolls it over and over and over. This is an example of a freeze pattern. In fact, is that one that I did with the music? So with the music, that would be uh, not quite. So do you see, that? let's try to draw a picture of what did I do with this guy? Um, let's draw the man picture correspond into each of these. What is the man picture here? Repeating the same. But this is just the man, the man, the man. Right? What is this one? What's happening to the man? Mm -hmm. The man. Goes down the step on the wire. I mean, on the. Uh, well, is this just taking this and lowering it? No, or what's the relationship between you know, this down. turned upside down? So I took this is the man, and then I took the man and I turned him upside down. Um, I didn't turn him upside down and backwards, I just turned him upside down. And then I just <coughs> repeat turning him upside down. Or you turn or do you flip him upside down? I flip him. I see. Yeah. In three dimensions, I can be a turn. Sure. Flip is a better word. These are pictures of the man, which not only can I do, well, since music is a geometric pattern in the plane, we can certainly repeat the music. Here we did the repeating um, London Bridges. Here we can do the corresponding, um, uh, let's see if I can play it. Um,
That's that second one. In fact, to really get consent, uh, an understanding of this, let's go out into the hallway. Thank you. Thank you. It goes up, I think. So what's happening? If this I have is the music, what happened to it from here to here? Oh, yeah. I flip it, not turn it, and then slide, it, and then do it here again. And so maybe I will do the dance step and then do the music, and you can form a line and do our dance. Like this. Ba -da 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 -da. Now it's not a weird way. And then da -da -da -da. Now, so the feet are just walking. I'll let you guys walk and we'll play and let's see how this works. So, line dance, here we go. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself <laughs> now. <laughs> start with it. Not yet, this next bar. Mm. Now let's see right foot. Okay, so let's do, let's start left, let's start again. So here's the left foot theme. Just with the, the theme changing. Yeah, so now it's the other. That's yeah. when it goes down. Ah, so is that where it starts? Uh, mm -hmm. need to look at, I needed to print out my music. Me too, Reese. Yeah, so that's it. So then now, it's, now you get the record. to the geometric freeze patterns here on the ground. We ought to try to classify these freeze patterns and see if we can make a list of all of them at some point. Uh, here's another one. Um, I guess how you hold this for me. Um, I don't think I'm going to try to stand this. Um, I like to look for music before figuring it out. So it starts here. That also looks like a left foot. Oh, cool. <laughs> and then 